Find the time set by Svensson. Alexis Berf. He really has picked up his performance uh, in the skiing part of his biathlon. The French team, they, they train so well together, they help each other. As he keeps on hitting these targets, lots of movement between each shot. Yes, the French team, they just had 10 day camps per month, training together, pushing each other, each other together. And uh, well, when you've got Martin Foucault in your team, you've got a, a great athlete to chase or try and emulate. 14 seconds off the pace though for Alexis Berf. It's competitive, so much good shooting today as Tim Burke comes uh, in to take the, or set the early time, 26.02. With missing two targets, I think we can say for sure that time will be beaten by at least a minute. Well, it's good for Eric Lesser. I'm not sure that uh, missing that one target will allow him to get on the podium again as he did two days ago. Carl Johan Bergman, normally so concentrated, he's having a bit of a meltdown. Well, I cannot believe what's happened there. I can't understand how he's uh, managed to miss all five in the stand, possibly putting himself under pressure. He was the winner here last year. Andreas Bernbacher taking almost a, a little stumble on the, the part of the track, which is tricky. And of course, the legs at this stage are at their most tired. 25.37 coming into the home straight. This is definitely going to be a, a new lead time as Bjorn Dahlen is going to show us I would imagine how to shoot fast again once he builds his position 13.7 in the lead for Bernbacher well not quite comfortable Bjorn Dahlen just uh, he's pushed the pace on the track just not feeling comfortable he's not wanting to throw anything away he did come into the range ahead of Eric Lesser. Well, this is the strangest day uh, I've ever seen. Two great names in biathlon, Carl Johan Bergman and now Bjorn Dahlen, both missing four, one after the other, out of five in the stand position. Simon Eder. doesn't quite have the ski form at the moment, but he's gone into the lead. He's hit 10 out of 10. Karanishev, another of the Russians who certainly seem to have raised their game coming into this new season. Wonderful, he did put it together well last year, Karanishev, with a second position and that was uh, in Antholz, the beautiful location of Antholz and then a victory in the World Cup following which was up in Oslo. Simon Eder. Oh, just making it across the line ahead of Bernbacher. Three seconds, well done the Austrian. And there's Landertinger just beside him. Skiing so fast, Landertinger. But you cannot get away with missing three targets in the sprint race. So Ader leading, but uh, only seven athletes finished to this stage. Now, what can Pfeiffer show us? He's certainly showing us some great ski speed. Alongside him. And uh, certainly has caught up Arndt Pfeiffer by well, some 10, 12 seconds. It's uh, Svensson. And you know, Pfeiffer was aware that Svensson was coming in. Svensson missing his first. He's got the second. Missing the third. He's looked away. He's trying to rebuild his focus. I cannot believe this today on the range. The wind, uh, the factors involved. We've got good daylight. The wind isn't horrendous from the left or from the right 
just some nerves coming into this first sprint race of the season. Sednev into third place. He only missed one. Ustigov, it's uh, great skiing, but uh, not enough to take him through to first position at the moment. So seven seconds behind the, the best time at the moment by Simon Eda. Oh, 15 seconds off the pace, and uh, well, really, by missing one shot, it, it gives you a disadvantage of 23, well, 22, 23 seconds. So Bjorn Ferry setting the pace on the track and hoping to pull a little more time off the lead uh, in this last section of the course. As they go around the left turn here, there's a gradual climb before a very quick descent over two, 300 metres. So after the second shoot at uh, Simonator with Eric Lesser in second place, and further down, there's Landetinger, three penalties, almost a minute behind after the second shoot. Well, there's the wind flags we can see. We've seen some big names really struggling in the stand shoot. Svensson had some difficulties. Bjorn Dahlen missing four. What can Martin Foucault show us? It's this wind that's a little changeable. It's from the right, then it's from the left. It certainly caught Martin Foucault out in the prone position. He's missed another. Well, all change. Even the great Martin Foucault, surely today he can't win. Having missed three shots. Makovic. At the World Championships here back in 2008, Makovic uh, showed the best of shooting displays. I think it was... Uh, out of 40 shots fired, he hit all 40. Eric Lesser, inspired by his performance in the 20 kilometer, he came third for the first time in his career. And they're uh, pushing so hard on the track and uh, just a small margin off the lead time. So Lesser only 4.1 seconds off Simon Ader's time. I think he might pull it back. John Ferry won't, just gonna be outside the time set by the Austrian. Well, he'll certainly be thinking, if only, if only that shot had gone down in the stand, it would, I'm quite sure. It certainly would be a new lead time, but it's not. He missed one shot, so Bjorn Ferry, not the golden day for the Swedish team, as they may have expected. Missing the first shot, that's uh, put Malashko's uh, chances down. Well, I think the intensity, you now have to come into the range to be competitive in the sprint race. You have to push your safe limits, and I think that's what's really affecting, as well as this wind from the right, and then switching from the left. It's really what's affecting the, the shooting, which is so, so strange today. Just try and get some confirmation after the stand shoots of the big names who've struggled today. Carl Johan Bergman missed all five. Vincent G has missed four. Now, what can Alexis Boeuf show us? Getting as much breathing in the lower part of his lungs to keep the rifle steady. Good start. Boof has missed his fourth shot, he's got the fifth. Now, will that put him in line to threaten the lead time of Simon Eder? Look at the time from uh, Florian Graf, even with uh, just one penalty. And it is just one penalty, there is a chance he could take the lead time. Well, actually, he's got a little to go, he's way down the range to the far left. Has to exit the range then onto the penalty loop. Well, I thought Lesser at 4.1 seconds down with only a kilometre and a half left. He's slowed down. A shake of the head and he knows it. He knows he had to keep the pressure on. 
And I do wonder, and I do think he might well have fallen onto that left hip. You can see the mark. A shake of the head, real disappointment there for Eric Lesser. Burfe has just gone out, he's missed one, he's 10 seconds off the pace, having now exited the penalty loop. We have a new leader though, it's uh, Florian Graf has just gone out, uh, 0.3 of a second ahead of Simon Eder. And I think it's an uh, advantage Graf, because uh, he's uh, picked up one penalty, Simon Eder didn't have any penalties, so Graf certainly faster on the track. Look at this time from Arndt Pfeiffer. He's only 5.6 seconds behind, and remember, he's been around the penalty loop two times. So fast in the skiing part of his biathlon. 28, familiar technique and reaching stride of Svensson, but missing three shots. How does he do it? How can he ski this fast? He really is going to challenge for a win at the moment. Having missed three targets. Ah, oh, well done to Emil Hegler-Svensson. I'm quite sure he's going to pick that time back up. This is what I suspected, Eric Lesser falling onto his left hip, costing him the victory at this moment, and that's why the shake of the head. Now, Ham Garanishev spoiled the party. Well, Shell, Shell Eric uh, mentioning his name a few times, distracting him. Look at this time from Bjorn Dahlen. He's, uh, he's missed four targets. Believe it or not, he has really missed four in the stand position, but only 48 seconds behind. Certainly competitive on his skis, Bjorn Dahlen. Well, Garanashev has missed three. Garanashev, a second position, a first position last year. I thought Pfeiffer might pull this time back, but it not yet. Surely he's going to pull one or two seconds further back of Ader's lead time. Ader must be in disbelief that a lot of the big names, uh, well, Svensson, he can't discount Svensson. Now, Svensson was five seconds behind at 9.5 with only 500 to go. Has he got it down? He has, or has he? He has got it down. He's pulled back uh, two and a half seconds. Can he do the same over the next 500 meters to take the victory? Well, it's all about the skiing now for, for Piper. Missing two, you have to punish yourself on the track. He's not going to take the victory. Simon Eder survives for a moment or two longer with Svensson charging down into the flat part, into the finish line. Oh, here he is. Oh, he's just trying and trying and trying to get some breathing into his lungs, some recovery before the final attack. He had to go wide there. He had to take a long way around. Vance